Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. It has been far, far, far too long since we have had a dedicated Kroot video on the channel, and I realize that it has also been um, probably like way too long in the making um, since I made a video on the fantastic Kroot box set that came out earlier this year, the Kroot hunting pack, and I realized I never actually made a video on what I did with that. Um, so as you can see here, I have been busy. Um, I have not forgotten the Kroot army, far from it. It has actually uh, been something I've been working on quite a bit. Um, as any uh, longtime subscribers know, um, I of course have a very large and very elaborately kitbashed uh, Kroot army. Um, but it has been going through some changes recently. So I... Uh, as you know, my previous video will attest, you know, I'm not huge into the playing of 40k right now, but one thing I am interested in doing and I wanted to do this year is uh, enter something in the armies in parade um, painting uh, contest they do every year. But uh, one of the things that's always held me back and what held me back this year is they don't allow any um, 3D printed stuff at all whatsoever. And basically all of my armies, including the Kroot one, use at least a little bit of that. Like it'll be a head here or, a, you know, a little part here or there or whatever. And while I don't agree with that, if I want to enter the contest, I need something that doesn't have any of that. So I've been kind of going through the Kroot army little bit by little bit. And one, um, as you know, the saying goes, like, nobody will hate your art as much as yourself as an artist, basically. So some of my older stuff I'm kind of, like, not a fan of anymore. So I'm either, like, updating it or I've gotten rid of a couple things. And um, with the goal of basically making, like, m as much of the army as I can, like, more legit just for, like, my own personal um, preferences, like, as far as making it so that it can be entered into Armies on Parade and also just, like, making stuff um, uh, better, like, by my own, like, standards now. Obviously, some of that stuff is very old, so, of course, I can do a better job now. But, all that is to say is that everything you see on the table here is stuff that is brand new, um, that I've been working on, and it's either from that box set or it's, um, been very recently added to my crew army. So, I thought it would be fun to just lay it all out and go through it and show you guys what I have been adding to the crew army, as well as what exactly I did with that box set. I made a video on the Leviathan box set, the Tyranid one, um, and that one was very popular. I showed off a lot of kit bashes that I did in that, and I of course did some kit bashing with the Kroot box set, although I was very happy with everything that they had in here. Um, so yeah, so without further ado, I'm just going to start going through, maybe I'll go from right to left and just kind of show you everything here and what all I've done. So firstly, we have a unit of hounds finally. So I have never had an actual unit of crew hounds. Zoom in a little bit more. I've never had a unit of uh, a real unit of crew hounds somehow. I've had some 3D printed ones, of course, um, but I've never had real ones. So what this is here, I'm realizing now my lighting is not ideal. Um, but so it's a mix of the very, very old metal hounds with some of the brand new ones. Now, these are not from the actual dedicated uh, hound box set. These are from the Farstalkers um, Kroot uh, Kill Team set. And uh, so basically I got a really good deal on, I think it was two full used um, Kroot Farstalker sets. And I wanted uh, one to use as the actual unit, which I'll show you in a minute. Um, and then I wanted the other one just for parts, because there's a ton of cool bits in that kit. There are a lot of cool, unique Kroot weapons and poses and things. And, um, and so it comes, that set comes with two of the newer style of hounds. It just so happened in another box that I, uh, lot that I bought used, it came with an old original 
set of the metal hounds. So the old set of hounds comes with four, and then I got two uh, from the uh, Farstalkers kit. So I decided to pick my three favorite of the metal ones and add them with the two uh, newer ones to kind of make this cool uh, mixed unit of crew hounds. So I think that's quite unique. And uh, even though the old ones are kind of kind of silly looking, some of them, um, I still quite enjoy them. So that is them. Next, we have, of course, the Crew Tox Rampagers. This is the new Crew Tox um, cavalry unit that the crew can field. I didn't really do anything different with these guys, except for I think I uh, like didn't use uh, exactly the right um, arms, like according to the instructions. I just kind of like put them on however I felt like it. Um, but yeah, there's uh, not too much to say about these guys. I think they're really, really cool, awesome models. I love the dynamic posing. Um, they really look like they are just sprinting forward. Um, the details are great. I love the weapons that the crew have. This guy's got an axe. The others have like their big kind of machete swords. Um, so I like those a lot. But yeah, not too much to say with them. I didn't really, I didn't really feel the need to do anything with them because they are such a cool unit all on their own. Next, I do have the uh, two units of brand new Crute Carnivores. And again, I pretty much just built them as is with the exception of um, their little uh, sergeant leader guys. I forget what they're called. Long Quills, I think. Um, I just kind of used like whatever arms looked cool. I didn't bother looking at the instructions. They all are pretty like interchangeable. Um, so that was the one guy from the one unit. And then this is the guy from the other unit. I did give both units the little um, quill grenade launcher thing. I just... I just go with, basically anytime I build a unit like this, I just, every like cool, unique weapon option, I give it to them. I just don't worry about it. And if I, um, if I'm playing a game and I don't want to use it, then I just won't use it. Nobody will ever give you a hard time about that. So I don't worry about it too much. Now, this is the first of many, um, brand new Kroot characters, um, that I have added to the army. As we all know, they went and added a bunch of new, um, shaper types for the Kroot forces. So this is the ancient uh, Blackstone Fortress unique crew character, uh, Dayak Grek, I think you say his name, um, who doesn't have a role in the army anymore, but I think he's pretty perfect for a trail shaper model. So I went ahead and added a little scope for him. I forget where I got that off of. It may have been a Admech part, um, but so I gave him a little scope for his rifle. I, of course, uh, green stuffed a little hood for him make him look a little more stealthy, and then I gave him a little shaper blade here on his back with a little, um, like a little leather pouch for it. So yeah, nothing too, too crazy with that, but I think he will make, he makes a very effective, uh, trail shaper that of course was, uh, quite a lot cheaper than the one that they made. So yeah, happy with him. Now, these are the two shapers you actually get in the box set, and you might notice that I have done a little bit of changing on them. This guy is the, I think he's called the Flesh Shaper. Um, really, really cool. I love the like more elaborate quills he has and his dual wielding melee weapons. Um, I did switch out his little axe uh, weapon that he has for this cool bone axe. I believe this is from a um, some sort of an Age of Sigmar corn warrior, maybe one of the ones from Warcry. I forget where I got that exactly, but... Yep, I just gave him a little uh, weapon swap there. I just thought that looked very cool and very crudy. And yeah, nothing else really to change on him. I think he looks great as is. And then this is the, I think they're called a War Shaper. Um, again, really, really cool model. Super happy with him. I went with the bow option for him. Um, and then I just gave him this little uh, headdress, um, little helmet crown thing here. There, um, and that is from the Ripperdactyl Riders um, from Age of Sigmar, the Seraphon kit. Uh, they have lots of those. I think they look great. And then, of course, he had is holding a decapitated Tau um, because my Kroot are in rebellion, and they are rebelling against the Tau overlords who have uh, tricked and uh, used and abused them and their good nature. So now they are, of course, fighting against the Tau. Um, and there's actual new uh, lore to back that up. So it's not just me. It's not just me being the, the Tau hater with my Crute army. Um, there are actual in the lore Crute uh, that are rebelling against the Tau. So yeah, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and say uh, first, I got it first. Um, but yeah, I think the uh, hand I used here, I think that that is from the uh, Firestalkers kit. 
As I mentioned, I bought that kit basically just for spare parts. Um, the second one there that I got. So yeah, I think um, that's where I got that hand from that I was able to hold the severed tau head from. Now these two I'm really happy with. So this is my second war shaper. Of course, he's using the other uh, weapon options um, that come with the war shaper in the box set. This is one of the bodies from a far stalker. Um, as you can see, it's already had, um, it's got a nice pose. It's got a nice little cloak and some extra armor and stuff. So he's got the hands from the other war shaper kit, as well as the extra um, ornate shoulder piece that comes with that guy. Um, we've got this little shield on his arm here. This is from, that's also from the uh, Ripperdactyl Rider uh, Age of Sigmar kit, as well as his little crown uh, crest thing there. Um, and all I did there was just extend out his uh, cape a little bit, a little more elaborate. But yeah, I think he looks very cool as my second war shaper. And then we've got my other flesh shaper here. So there is that axe that I didn't use for the first one. Again, this is a far stalker body. Uh, the extra sword, that's also from the far stalkers kit. I gave him a little tyranid uh, shoulder piece here. I thought that looked cool. And uh, again, these are all bits from the Far Stalker kit. Again, just extended his cape a little bit there. And yeah, so like, so here's mine of that. And then here is the official one. So I think they go quite well together. And then there's him. And there's the other one. So again, I think that they are all uh, looking very good together. Now we have this guy here. This is my first uh, Crute Lone Spear. This, of course, started as, at least this guy, was my model to represent the uh, unique Krut Relic Rifle that you had last edition. I think it was called the Kachak Tar Rifle. I actually made a video on him um, and how to make this rifle. If you're interested, you can go back on the channel and see that. Um, but I did make a guide on that. And uh, so, yeah, so what was really, really cool with this release for the Krut was it showed, and it, and it, uh, added to the lore that the Crute will use um, creatures that aren't of Crute um, uh, lineage. So like every other creature the Crute have always used, the hounds, the Crutox, everything, they're all a variant of Crute. There are, are all Crute that devolved themselves into a new subspecies, and that's how it's always been. The new lore that they've added, and they added with this official model, he's riding on like, he's supposed to be riding on like a big like salamander lizard thing called a calamandra. Um, it states that the crew have actually tamed like hundreds, if not thousands of other species of aliens um, over their time and are more than happy to use them um, as well as their, their uh, related, crew related creatures. So that just opens the green light to go ahead and use Crute with whatever cool alien or cool monster you want um, because it's stated that the Crute will do that. So I got this. This is the uh, Age of Sigmar. Um, what are these called? Raptodons, I think. Something like that. They're in a new Age of Sigmar uh, lizard men cavalry, Seraphon cavalry. And they come in a unit of three. So I actually have two more of these that I can build. Um, with their own rider. So I'm just I'm undecided if I want to do that or if I want to make each one very unique and get like a completely different um, Type of creature for him to ride on But yeah, so so far this is my first crute lone spear obviously using the sniper rifle weapon And again, if you want to see more about how this guy was built um, There is a video on the channel on that already now we have my little uh, Crute Farstalker Kinband, and basically other than a couple little um, bits of green stuff here and there, so basically I wanted to use, I wanted to have put every single possible special weapon that these guys came with all in the one squad. Basically, you can't even use them all in game anymore, but I'm like, they're cool, and I just don't care, I just want to use all the cool parts, so... Um, a couple of these guys like this, like this guy is not meant to hold this weapon. Um, this guy here is the body that is meant to hold both of the heavy weapons. But so you, if you, if you did that, you could only have one or the other. But so I found a way to make this guy hold it 
And uh, yeah, so I just have every single like cool, unique weapon possible for these guys. Um, and yeah, other than a couple very minor changes, like I gave this, I let this guy have his rifle on his back because there's not technically a loadout for just like dual melee weapons. Um, yeah, I just used everything. And like I said, I got a whole nother one of these sets just for all the extra cool parts. So um, there will be more kit bashing to do with that. Like I might take the other one of these guys with a sniper rifle and uh, use that to make another lone spear guy so something like that um you might see in the future but yeah there's nothing too too special with these guys it's a really cool kit i love all the poses love all the unique weapons i've i've said my complaints about the kit before um basically that i just wish it was a little bit more special a little bit more unique further away from a crew carnivore squad um basically i just wish like you had the option to give everybody a special weapon or like Maybe it was only a unit of five, but they all have this thing or something like that. You know what I mean? Or a unit of five and they all have sniper rifles. Um, but anyway, I've said my piece on that lots of times, but very cool kit. Love the way they all look. And last but not least, we have the actual Crutox Riders. So this is the kit that you get in the new box set. But when you get it, it comes with a whole second torso, extra heads, second gun because it has two gun options and an extra head for this guy so when i got that and i opened up the box and saw this i immediately thought oh well if i get my hands on an old crutox i bet you i could use all those extra parts to update it so that it looks um at least somewhat comparable and for the most part i think it worked is it absolutely perfect no but it means that a old crutox um doesn't go to waste and doesn't look like totally out of place next to the new one you can just say oh this is a smaller one maybe it's an older one um but really other than that like this pose is wider um it's not too 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 crazy so like i said this one built right out of the box i took the spare parts and i updated this one obviously you can see with a fair bit of green stuffing um broke that leg changed the pose a little bit but yeah i think it turned out pretty good and again i have a video on this already if you want a little bit more detail but uh yeah that's pretty much it so that concludes the video that is everything new that i have added to the crew recently it is by no means the end of my plans for the crew uh, once i get all this stuff done and painted there's obviously lots more to come and there's a couple things i'm still up in the air about whether i'm going to um like a couple of my older conversions, like maybe like my Riptide or my, um, uh, what's he called? Uh, is it Commander Farsight? Yeah, I think it's Farsight, the guy with the sword. Anyways, I have conversions for a lot of old crew stuff that use, between they use a whole bunch of 3D printed parts, um, and now I kind of like, I, I'm by no means against 3D printing, I absolutely 100% not, and I still use lots of 3D printed stuff in other armies, just for this one, I kind of like the challenge of trying to use all like real stuff just so that um, one, it kind of goes together better. And two, it's like if I ever did want to enter them in like an armies in parade event or something, then I could use all that stuff. And for the most part, it's just little things like head swaps or um, some extra like hands and stuff like that. And I think now with knowing what I know now and with like the more stuff that's available, I think I could, any of those older kit bashes I did that I'm now not super happy with, I think I could do them better or do a different one that I like more now. So, um, yeah, anyway, so expect more crude stuff in the future as I continue to work on this army. Um, let me know of any stuff you would like to see, whether it's like painting guides or kit bashing guides, things like that um i never really know with you guys like it's hard to predict sometimes i just make a video laying in my bed uh bitching about games workshop and it's like the biggest video i've done in the last six months and then other times i like put out something i'm super proud of and it's like eh, not really so <laughs> it's kind of it's very funny it always gives me a laugh like uh what people seem to be interested in not but anyways guys if you want to uh support the channel at all check out my patreon it is linked down below um, it's where I post all my work in progress stuff early. So you get to see stuff that I'm working on ahead of time, as well as I do little like guides and things like little extra painting guides or, um, kit bashing guides on there. It's nothing too crazy, but it's also only a dollar supports the channel, um, and all that good stuff. 
Also check out our channel sponsor, Lord of Skulls. He sends me all kinds of cool 3D printed uh, World Eater and Chaos stuff, um, which I review on the channel. And, uh, and then I offer you guys a discount, uh, which my code is CRUTDUDE. You can check out uh, his link down below. And uh, yeah, that's about everything for today, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.